<laughs> Tasha, Tasha, Tasha K. Why you had to prove the lead attorney and I right about you? And so what do you think about this situation with her involved with this with this uh worker this official at the at the prison and and them getting all this information <laughs> what do you think about that as as journalists because i consider tasha k you know she's now doing the job of investigative journalism so then as journalists where is the line you know where is the line of privacy privacy because at some point privacy is great when it benefits you but when it comes to actually try to get people's information and stuff like that, then you don't really care about it. And yeah. Tasha can have to watch out now because she's now a public figure. What if happened, let's say her husband have an affair or something like that or tragedy at her house. So then therefore she's going to want, she's going to wish to have that privacy. A few moments later. While you trying to give an opening and closing motherfucking argument, bitch, your ass will be on motherfucking YouTube too doing what you got to fucking do, bitch. Because them hips. I ain't gonna make you no money. I would say you could be, you could sell dick, bitch, but you can't do that because you can't move the motherfucker. The only thing you can move is this goddamn hand. What is this? What is this? Mm -mm. I don't give a fuck if he got, if he had connections, those connections will hook him up with some cases. Those connections will make him at least a small partner in a firm. I don't give a fuck who you are. Bitch, you lie on me, I'ma drag your ass. I'ma drag you like you dragging your head across that bitch pussy that you whispering to. Can't stand with a bitch that look like Boosie, okay? Getting dick from a man that's got some swag. That wouldn't give you none, so you're mad. Mm -hmm. Did your mama do it? I bet you you can't even stand that bitch. I bet you you can't. Mm -hmm. ask, ask him about his mammy. He won't even tell. I can't look at you. It's hard. I put myself through law school. No, the government put you through law school, bitch. And you better put them, you better give them their goddamn money back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So you just, you guys just saw the, the video clip and stuff like that. And I wanted to play the whole, you know, the whole part about Tasha K. But too much editing, man. I had to put all these little bleep and bleep and bleep. And <laughs> I couldn't do it. But I just give you a snippet of her response about the the live stream that i was a part of with the lead attorney and one of the things that i've actually stated was being a public figure now the same thing that you're doing to other celebrities and you're doing to to people and stuff like that right when it comes to privacy when it comes to matters that really have nothing to do with you but because it's your job so then therefore you have to dig and dig into people and stuff like that and to expose certain aspects of them and then now you only get a snippet you only get a snippet of celebrity life celebrity gossip and all that stuff right and you just lose your freaking cool what if it was worse what if your husband's actually cheating on you and people finding out what if a whole bunch of other stuff in the background start coming forward look it's part of the job man it's it's part of the job and I get it. I understand why she's upset. I, I get it. But why not address what the lead attorney is saying? And that's a funny thing about it, though, right? Because like people, whenever you come across, whenever, whenever you come up with an argument, right? Whenever you try to discuss an aspect of, you know, uh, you know, an aspect, and instead of actually replying to what you're saying, they now want to actually you know throw ad hominem they want to do you know messy stuff right and i get it it's but here's the thing right you want to talk about let's say black chicks this you know we're like you know um blah 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 you want to turn this whole thing in, uh, you know it's about race so you have a preference in african and an african man right not african-american but african men so technically you are dating outside of your culture so if um, what you saying about the lead attorney is true about um, you know um, the white woman whisper and all that stuff why does it matter because the content that you're creating you're not creating a content for African people you created you creating content for African American so then therefore you are benefiting from the African American culture while you are in bed with African cultures you getting some of the African butumbo <laughs> so 
why does it matter that if the lead attorney is whispering some some to, to, to some white coochie and while he's actually making content that actually that African American can relate to? I'm Haitian. I'm making content that African American can relate to. And yes, I'm sleeping with a white girl. I'm married to a white girl. She's Polish, as a matter of fact. So to make it seems like you know whatever the word that we were talking about our discussion automatically had to revert around who we sleeping with that's messy baby that's it just shows that with all that intelligence that you have because believe me i think you are a smart lady you are but it's messy it's very messy you know and uh, um i think well i think you you realize that too because i think you had an apology afterward um to, towards him um, and um, you know what it is what it is it is just kind of funny how someone who actually gossip for living have an issue with other people gossiping about her why do the lead attorney actually use um, celebrities well because right now you are a celebrity why does the lead attorney use a celebrity in order to actually make a point because these are the archetype in our society which we can actually relate to, we can actually draw inspiration from to actually create that example which we're trying to do. If the lead attorney was only talking about laws and stuff like that, then not many of us know anything about laws, right? So then therefore, to use you as an example to create that lesson, to tell that story of what he's trying to do in the first place, is why your name brought up, is why you use celebrities yourself in order to actually create a story, to create a narrative, to actually tell what you do want to tell your audience. So, are you mad now the shoe's on the other foot? Come on now. But anyways, it's Arbanaka. I'm not staying for long. Share, like, comment, subscribe.